Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen and amen. I am only the dust of the earth, and no one is beneath me. And the only thing that's special about me is that I am forgiven, and I am God's dirt. The last couple of days, I have been, not been feeling very well. I've been feeling kind of weak. And when I would stand up, I'd feel dizzy. And my legs would feel wobbly. And I'm spending a lot more time in bed. And I'm sleeping more than I have in months, actually, for some reason. Uh, last night, I prayed a little different prayer. And I thank God for my, for my pain and my suffering. I give thanks for all my blessings. As my blessings, they number as the stars. And I give thanks for each and every one. I gave thanks for the pain and the suffering and the sacrifice that Jesus endured for me. For the gift he bought for me with his very blood and his, and his life. I, I did not pray for healing for me, but I thank God for his suffering, unimaginable pain, torture, humiliation, all for me. He loved me so very much that he paid my sin debt that I could not pay with no amount of money and my blood would not pay for that price that was owed. Only the blood of Jesus could pay that price that I owed and Jesus paid that price for me. The creator of all things loves us that much. And Jesus paid your sin debt as well with his blood, his life. So now your sin debt has been paid now you are free to worship who you will. Choose wisely. Uh, but this video, it's about a very remarkable dream that I had last night. It was a, uh, a four-part dream, which for me is very rare. So uh, I, it was so detailed that I had to write it down because there was just so much detail that I knew I'd never remember it all. And like most of my dreams, I was, I was in a situation in spirit and no one saw me or, or heard me, but I was there and I, I saw and heard everything. Now the first part of the dream, I was on a train station platform preparing to board a train. I was with a throng of people, all who were very excited about leaving. They were so excited, everyone seemed to be hugging and kissing each other with tears of joy that just seemed to be coming from everyone. But in all the rush to get ready, no one had any luggage. No one had any carry-on bags, and the women didn't even have purses with them. They, they hurried to leave so quick. Then the people, they quickly and excitedly boarded the train, and everyone was excited as all they could talk about was going home. Then the picture changed, and then I was at a boarding gate for an airline, for an airplane that I, I never saw the name of the airline. And again, like before, everyone was in tears, hugging and kissing all around. Everyone was so excited. And like before, there were tears of, of great joy from everyone. And like the first dream, no one had any luggage, no carry-on bags, and I, I did not see one woman with a purse. And again, I thought that was very odd. Then. They boarded the plane and everyone excitedly entered the plane and they found their seats and all the while they were so happy, exuberant, bubbling, full of, great, full of great joy, joy unspeakable. It seemed that all they could talk about was going home. Then the scene changed again. And this time I saw what looked like a, a homecoming for a soldier. He was in some kind of fatigues and who had been away at war. Everyone was so happy to see their brother, their son, their friend, their neighbor. 
family member home safe. Big smiles, pats on the back, big hugs, lots of kisses from everyone. And everyone was so full of joy. Everyone was so happy that this soldier had finally come home. Now this soldier had been abused, but had still done his duty and had fought the good fight and had done what God had asked him to do. He was a soldier for the Lord who was called to be a street preacher as he had been in the service of the Lord for many years, fighting the good fight, preaching the true word of God, and that there was salvation from what was to come, but only through Jesus Christ. But the people, the people, they refused to hear, and almost everyone mocked and scoffed him. Some would push him down, and even some would throw punches at him, bloody, bloodying his face. But he remained faithful and true to his calling, and he kept, he kept preaching on the streets. Though battered and bruised, he kept on the streets preaching because God had called him for this work and he was going to be faithful to God. And he was committed to preach the full, unadulterated word of God. Then, the final part of this dream, I saw another soldier in fatigues at home, at a homecoming, and they had a huge banner saying, Welcome home. Everyone seemed to be crying and hugging the soldier so tight, like they never wanted to let go. There were many pats on the back, very many hugs and kisses for, for this soldier, who finally came home from the war. The house was full of people and everyone was so excited with gifts and much love, much love for this soldier who was away at war for a long time. To see the scene you would just start crying as well. Even the soldier had tears in his eyes. It seemed that this soldier was working the mission fields, teaching the real and full gospel of Jesus Christ. Like the first soldier, this soldier had been abused, treated very harshly, even jailed, beaten, starved, and tortured for his faith and for teaching the full, true gospel. Now people would come to, this, to these soldiers of Christ in the field and try to persuade them by various means to use other fake Bibles, but they refused. They tried various methods such as gifts, promises, free things, perks, promising how easier things would be if only they changed their beliefs and their teachings just a little, just a little bit, to change the word here and a word there, to delete a verse here and a verse there. They said that it really did not matter, but the soldier said it mattered to God or else it would not be in the King James Bible. The soldier tried to reason with these people that God is perfect, and so God is incapable of authoring an imperfect Bible. And the man, and that man, is incapable of correcting God. That is, that is to say that man who is not perfect, and God is always perfect in everything he does and says, God never has to say sorry or I made a mistake, as God is incapable of making a mistake. But these soldiers, they had fought the good fight, and they were home with all the love that was due them from everyone. But the greatest reward was from Jesus, who looked down upon them and proclaimed, The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Welcome home, my true and faithful servants. Welcome home, a place you know, and not a strange place, but a place you forgot. A place of rest and peace, a place of much, much joy, joy unspeakable. A place of great love, so much love that it's an ocean of love with no breadth, no width, and no depth thereof. Indescribable, unimaginable, unfathomable love is what the Creator has for us. And we will all be in trim, young, glorified bodies with no health issues whatsoever. As God is perfect, we will be perfect. We will live forever in that place we call home. And I am going home. Where are you going? The plane, the train are boarding. Will you be boarding as well? Time is short. Time is short. Tick tock, 
tick tock. Not much time left on the clock. We all need to be in prayer. We need to be in prayer to be pleasing to God because we're going home soon. We're going home so soon. We all need to be faithful and true. Washed in the blood, born again. And we will see you. We will see you on the streets of gold on that day. We will see you there. These are the four dreams that I had last night. And the soldiers, when their party kind of wound down, and there was just a few family members left behind, that is when the soldiers opened up and talked about how they were abused and how they were mistreated. But their family, they loved them all the more because they were home. They were home. And they were safe. And one day we will go home and we will be with Jesus. And where he is at, we will be with him forevermore. Forevermore. Safe in the arms of Jesus back to that place that I, I yearn to be back in once again. And then I do all that I do so that I can get back in the arms of Jesus. Back where I belong and back where you belong as well. It's just indescribable. indescribable. It's the perfect the, per the perfect place to be. And the Creator loves us that much. And all we have to do is repent of our sin. Jesus paid our sin debt. He paid it in full. He paid your sin debt and He paid mine. And all we have to do is repent of our sin and believe. And believe that Jesus is the Son of God. And that He was crucified and died on an old wooden cross. Now he was buried, but on the third day he arose from the grave, from the grave, and he walked this earth again. And then he ascended up to heaven inside of men. And now he sits on the right hand of the Father, awaiting his glorious and triumphant return. And one day, one day soon, Jesus will return for his faithful to take us home. And we pray that we see you there on that day. With much love and more grace from above. Amen.